Howdy all you delicious people, I'm here today to review The Father. So, immediately one thing that I guess I have to uh, kind of reassess and or uh, just apologize about. Uh, it seems that I had heard that this movie had gotten some Oscar controversy thing going on with it. And reasonably... Uh, I didn't, uh, think even one second to review that movie, or review this movie, I mean, because of that. Like, to me, I was just like, hey, somebody's getting an award, what movie is he getting the award for? Okay, well, I guess I'll just watch that movie. <laughs> like, that's all that I was thinking of. Like, oh, hey, this person's nominated, uh, for this thing? Okay, like... I guess I should probably check that out. Uh, to me, like the Oscars really, especially this year, was something that I pretty much completely and utterly tuned out. Uh, just because I was like, well, a lot of these movies that are out there are just kind of like everybody scraping at the bottom of the barrel to put something out this year. And really, whatever is put out is whatever was put out. Uh, so, and the award show kind of just reflected that of just, like, it's like, hey, like, this, uh, movie immediately went to streaming service because there was no theatrical release, anything, anywhere, so this movie had to go straight to Netflix, Amazon, or Vudu, or some other place somewhere, and then, uh, desperately try to figure out some theater that could release this movie somewhere uh so with that said uh if the controversy of the oscar win uh affected you in some way i do apologize but otherwise reasonably to me uh the only reason why i review this film is because it's a new release and considering how very few times we get new releases that's pretty much it. <laughs> That's all I thought about it. But uh, I don't know. Um, so I'm sorry if, uh, if people are affected by whichever. So moving on. Uh, so let's get into this movie. So what exactly is this movie about? So... Uh, I just kind of honestly went into this movie completely blind and because I wasn't going to do any little bit of like research or whatever, I didn't even pay attention uh, on the Oscar show of any mentioning of descriptions of any movies. I just went in here and was like, oh, okay, so-and-so movie won an award. Okay, I'll... I'll check that out. Like, that's basically it. So, The Father. So, the uh, the portion of this movie, we end up finding out a character named Anthony ends up uh, eventually falling into having dementia, which we end up finding out that this movie eventually gets more and more confusing to where everyone around Anthony just ends up getting very much jumbled around. Stories are different than they were in one movie uh, part to the other. Uh, to where eventually we end up kind of seeing how Anthony's character might be inconveniencing his family or... Uh, friends of his family, and so on and so forth. It seems that eventually we, some points in some time, ending up having Anthony repeat uh, some same stories as if uh, he is assuming that these people have probably heard them for the first time because this is the new version of of so-and-so person because we end up having a uh, a daughter named Anne who throughout this movie 
looks different uh, through multiple different iterations. We end up having also Anthony having someone that is going to come and try to take care of him. And that woman ends up changing from person to person to person. And we end up having also Anthony having uh, a guy that ends up coming around that ends up, he also changing as well. To where eventually we end up finding Anthony ending up changing his entire environment completely till eventually one day uh, he ends up uh, kind of in a completely different place. Uh, we end up having it to where Anthony is kind of paranoid about everyone and we end up also having it to where uh, Anthony thinks that his family is uh, trying to work against him. Maybe uh, think that he is crazy uh, when in all actuality, uh, yeah, like he really just ends up with dementia. So we eventually have in this movie... Uh, a real breakdown of this character to where uh, we end up having seemingly Anthony seemingly trying to like these small little adjustments like at first we end up having Anthony kind of uh, thinking that uh, his daughter is kind of working against him but then he realizes that Things are shifting so often and so much to where he has to second guess things and then just be like, well, like, like I am Anthony, right? Like, this is my uh, flat, right? Like, this is like, we end up having Anthony eventually having to question everything uh, because like he is just completely thrown into a loop towards a portion of this movie to where eventually... We have Anthony eventually more and more that we go on to this episode, the, or the more and more we go on to this movie, I mean, eventually he ends up really and truly just breaking down uh, to the point of almost uh, being reminded of his own, like, childhood or infancy or whatever, and it kind of just uh, dissolves into that. So... With that said, I think that's all that I really had to say about this movie because anything else I were to say about this film uh, would honestly just be spoilers because reasonably uh, there is a lot of jumbling going on in this movie and so reasonably I think there might be a lot of times where I might end up uh, seemingly sounding like I'm like repeating myself over and over because the same scenes tend to come into the fray or like the same repeated kind of scenes kind of happen uh, from every single day to where eventually we end up having uh, somebody reminisce about uh, some earlier part of the movie and so on and so forth. So... Going on into this film, I thought, I was like, oh, okay, like, once I started to figure out, like, the uh, quote-unquote, like, gimmick of the film, I was like, oh, okay, so is somebody working against him, or is he just losing his mind? And immediately I was like, oh, okay, well, like, that would have been crazy if at the very end of the film we end up having... Uh, and who was actually working against him the whole entire time. And, like, that would have been intriguing. But, like, also, we end up having this just dissolve the way it is. And then so there's, like, two sides of this story where people are thinking, like, well, like, is, uh, is his daughter working against him? Or is he just really, and truly, and legitimately losing his mind? And to where there's a... Uh, there could be a twist at the very tail end of this movie, whether or not um, Anthony is uh, really and truly crazy or not. 
uh, and so on and so forth. But with that said, uh, let's go into spoilers about this movie because at the end of the day, uh, it's about time to just crank out this movie. Uh, there's a lot of, like, eventually I would just call this movie eventually like a jumbled mess uh, because eventually that's how this this movie is supposed to be done. That's the way this movie is is uh, presented. And to where eventually you're thinking that one person is one person in a portion of this film. Oh, actually, they are this person. In, so it's all kinds of things going on here. And so at the end of the day, I think it's about time to say it is spoiler time. Spoiler time. It's about that time we're going to spoil this movie. So... We end up finding out that it seems that Anne is to want to be leaving uh, for, I think, Paris or London. The story gets changed and mangled and switched uh, throughout this movie consistently throughout. To where eventually, uh, at some point, Anthony uh, had mentioned that uh, Anne decided to not go to London and to stay with Anthony or Paris and stay with Anthony. A lot of this movie just gets really confused and whichever one happy. But then eventually we have it to where I think Anne ends up deciding to eventually go off uh, to live on her own and to where eventually uh, Anthony is just to be shacked in a uh, mental uh, hospital elderly home thing. So... In the very beginning of this, we end up having, uh, we end up having Anthony, who is living in a flat, and so we end up having Anne coming to, uh, Anthony's flat to see how well, uh, Anthony and this, uh, uh, kind of, uh, uh, watcher of his are going and so we end up having anthony mentioning that uh he thinks that his watch is missing and he thinks that this woman had probably stolen it and so we eventually have Anne telling anthony it's like well like well you are known to like hiding things and don't you have like a secret compartment where you hide things and then anthony's like Oh, yeah, like, how did you know about that? And Anne's like, well, like, I just started looking around one day and I ended up finding it. So, Anthony ends up going and uh, coming back with a watch on. And then Anne's like, oh, well, like, you have your watch on. Like, like so did you find it? And so it's not stolen? And Anthony's like, well, like, yeah, but you really can't trust this girl because I think she's, like, I don't know, I think there's something wrong with her. There might be drugs or something, I don't know. It's like, we end up having Anthony trying to use all kinds of excuses to get rid of this nurse because he says that he's fine, like he can, uh, like he can be able to live on his own and he's, he's perfectly fine, but Anne thinks otherwise. So, we... What happens within this movie, because eventually it gets to be all scrambled messes and so on and so forth. So, we eventually have Anthony come in the next day, and so we end up finding out that, uh, that Anthony is to go and... Uh, find a guy named uh, Paul that seems to have been living uh, in this flat for a very long time. And so we end up having Anthony going like, well, hey, who are you? Like, I don't know who you are. Like, I've never seen you before. And this guy evidently is Paul. And so he is actually the... Uh, boyfriend of Anne. And so we eventually have to have Anne confirming who Paul is. And so 
we eventually end up finding out that here's where Anthony is starting to get confused. Because eventually Paul will, <clears throat> at some point, be a completely different guy at some point. But then eventually we'll have it to where uh, Anthony sees this same Paul come back again. So <clears throat> here's the thing. So we end up eventually having Anthony going and trying to find a different, uh, a different uh, like sitter uh, for, or I don't, don't want to say sitter, like a, a nurse for, uh, for Anthony. And so we end up having Anthony meeting a girl named Lauren. And so, or Laura, I mean. And so we end up having, we end up having Laura uh, going and, like, it seems that uh, her and Anthony are really kicking things off. It seems that Anthony offers her, like, a thing of alcohol and to try to, like, uh, like get to know her and stuff like that. And it seems that, uh, that we end up finding out that Anne and Anthony had another, uh, like, Anne had another sister, uh, to where eventually, uh, Anthony kind of mentions that, uh, this other sister had went off to, uh, go to, uh, prison, and we end up having Anthony mention that, like, this Laura girl looks just like uh, his daughter, the daughter that had left him. Uh, so we end up finding out that Anthony is mentioning to this Laura girl that he, uh, that he is a professional tap dancer and he ends up doing this, uh, bizarre uh, tap dancing, uh, little routine and we end up having Anne saying, like, Anthony, no, you're not, like, you are not a tap dancer. You're an engineer. You were an engineer. So, we eventually have it to where uh, Anthony tries to do anything possible to try to be rude to this Laura. But eventually she ends up staying and stays on to try to take care of, uh, to try to take care of Anthony. To where eventually we end up having it to where, uh, Paul ends up coming back a completely different looking person. And so we end up having Anne and, uh, and Anthony and Paul all sitting at a dinner table together and we end up finding out that Laura can only be there till six. And so uh, Paul is like, well, hey, well then, like who is going to like look after uh, Anthony for the rest of the time? And then Anne says like, well, I'll pitch in after six. Like I'll come in here and I'll take care of him after six. And so we end up having Paul just getting very frustrated because it's like, well, like, if you're going to be here, then, like, evidently you're not going to be with me kind of thing. And so, and plus also, I think Anne was supposed to leave to Paris or London or whatever, whichever story it has to be. Uh, because eventually we have it to where Anthony uh, mentions that... Uh, he mentions to somebody that... Uh, Laura is going to go off to London and, uh, and and interrupts him and says, no, like, I'm going to Paris. So we never really know truly where she was going to go. So we end up having Anne uh, going and mentioning that she's going to be with her father at 6 o'clock to basically mention that she's never going to be able to leave his side. And so we end up eventually having... Paul kind of very frustrated and he's like you know what like we end up having Paul like starting to question uh Anthony it seems like Anthony is kind of giving uh Paul some kind of like 
condescending answers where we end up having Paul like kind of questioning whether or not that Anthony is uh, really and truly like, uh, like, is he really uh, sick or is he playing off that he's sick or like, is he really truly being honest about him being as uh, kind of hard up as he is, so on and so forth. So we eventually have it to where Paul is like, well, you know what? When are you going to come to stop, uh, like, getting on everyone's nerves, like, ticking everyone off? Like, uh, he says it in one way, but I'm not going to say it that way because, like, just for uh, review reasons. So... We end up having seemingly Anthony not answering this question. And then we just kind of skirt around it to eventually have uh, Paul at some point re-asking this question at some point in the movie as I think probably a different Paul. So we end up going further along into the movie and so we end up having now uh several people looking severally differently different we eventually have laura who ends up coming into the fray and she's a completely different laura uh and so we end up having laura coming in and it looks like a completely different person. And we have Anthony who's like, well, wait a minute. Like, this is not Laura. If anything, Laura looks like my daughter. This is not the Laura that I'm familiar with. And then that's when Anthony just thinks that uh, that Anne is working against him, trying to make him seem crazy. But then eventually when uh, Anthony is seeing more and more people that he's not familiar with or people that are switching roles and being different people, we end up having Anthony starting to question everything to where eventually he is asking uh, Paul at some point if this is his flat, if, um, if Paul is actually Paul, if Anne is actually Anne. Uh, his his daughter and so on and so forth, trying to uh, get all of his faculties together to assess or assume that uh, everything is what it should be and everything is correct, uh, or otherwise he's going to get things jumbled or confused and someone will correct him at some point. So... So, I'm going to pause here for a second. All right. I just needed a, a second there just to kind of like reset myself. So, we go along and we have, we have Anthony who is to uh, start to see that people aren't who he thought they were. That eventually we end up having Anthony asking uh, if Anne is Anne, if uh, if Laura, whoops, uh, if Laura is Laura, and so on and so forth. Uh, we end up having Anthony questioning everything uh, because he is very unsure. Uh, he is very unsure about everything, and so. We end up having a moment where Anthony is going to need a lot more care. It seems that uh, we end up having Anthony wanting Anne to be uh, much more there for him than anyone else. And so eventually that ends up driving a wedge between Anne and Paul to where eventually Paul comes in as a different Paul and asks, like, well, hey, like, when are you going to stop getting on everyone's, like, bad side? When are you going to stop, uh, like, like, getting on everybody's, like, 
on everyone's backs, let's just say. And so we eventually end up having Paul eventually just slapping Anthony around to where eventually Anthony is like, well, hey, like, don't don't do that again or you're going to force me to uh, like get rough with you or have it have to defend myself. And so we have Anne come in and have them like, and she ends up kind of breaking up this fight. And so we end up having a tour eventually that Laura is to continue trying uh, to take care of Anthony uh, and tour eventually we end up having Anthony eventually uh going from his flat to eventually awakening uh one time in his hospital where he is to be re-met with his daughter uh that had gone away not Anne the other daughter which I think was uh Lucy I think so we end up having it to where eventually this all leads to eventually Anthony uh, going and, and trying to figure out who everyone is uh, to where eventually he ends up trying to pretend as if he knows who people are uh, at some points and junctures or whatever. But then all, he also gets a lot of stories just jumbled and confused and whatever to eventually he ends up in a... Uh, he ends up in a uh, old folks home or a mental hospital of sorts that is to end up taking care of him to where eventually the previous Laura that we ended up seeing uh, was actually uh, a nurse of Anthony's. So like this all gets all kinds of jumbled around to where eventually we end up finding out that it seems that Anne all along was trying to figure out some uh, nurse of sorts that was going to transition Anthony from his flat to this hospital at some point. So we end up having Anthony going and realizing that he is not in his flat anymore, even though he's saying that this is his flat, uh, but he realizes that this is a hospital of sorts. And so... We end up having Anthony uh, kind of, uh, with this nurse, uh, kind of reminiscing about, about his childhood and that he misses his mother. And then all of a sudden we end up having Anthony starting to uh, cry and uh, like shout out that he misses his mommy and then misses his mother. And so we end up having Anthony who ends up uh, going into the shoulder of this nurse and the nurse tries to hug and comfort him uh, as Anthony cries out for his mother. And that's basically where this movie ends with just uh, Anthony is to live the rest of his life in this hospital to where it seems that quite possibly... No one is ever going to come back for him because it seems that his daughter, Anne, had left to go off to London and or Paris. And it seems that uh, his other daughter is probably either in a mental hospital somewhere or never going to come back for Anthony. Because at some point in this movie, uh, Anthony had hoped that he would see his other daughter again. But that was never to actually have happened. So, really, that's just how this movie ends. And really, like, there's a lot of interesting things going on in this movie. I kind of like how uh, everyone is kind of playing off one another. I think that's the best part of this movie. But other than that, like, this movie just kind of comes off as just kind of like a jumbled mess because of uh, really just the reason why it is, is just like it's showing the evolution of 
uh, dementia. So really that's the whole idea of the film. So the movie kind of like kind of just becomes an idea which they end up uh, just uh, just showcasing two people dementia. And so with that said, yeah, like that's all that really mattered with this film was to just kind of showcase this illness to eventually it gets to that kind of escalation. And so I guess that was a real true interesting aspect of this movie. But other than that, yeah, like it was just like to me, I was like, okay, what exactly is going on? Because I didn't do any research before this. So I just kind of went in here blind and I was thinking like, well, is this one of those kind of movies where you don't know what exactly is happening until the very end kind of thing. Um, but anyways, because that's the whole thing. I just came in here completely blind. Uh, so with that, yeah, like, there's a lot of things that I could back over on. And I could uh, come to the consensus of. And I can talk more about this movie. But yeah, I think uh, anything going further on into this movie would just be like repeating things that I've already said or... Uh, go on to uh, me talking about uh, things that were just kind of like watch the movie again and, and see different variations of this movie or whichever because more than likely people might forget things or remember things from this movie and that might make this movie a rewatchable film. But with that said, uh, that's all that I have to say about this movie. Um, like to me, like no matter how long that this movie was, I kind of felt that this movie was actually a really short film because basically once you got like the the gimmick or the thing about this movie, then immediately you're just like, oh, okay, well, this is not much beyond that. It's just kind of just going to keep showcasing and confusing uh, the main character uh, to the point of them eventually just really and truly realizing that they're just like they're in a really rough spot that they are in a really bad spot and really that's yeah that's really all this movie just breaks down to and so with that i think that's all i have to say so i'm gonna get out of here goodbye everybody bye everybody